Hi everybody, welcome back. All my subscribers, welcome back to my new subscribers. My God, thank you for subscribing. I almost have a hundred uh, subscribers, so I am very impressed with that. Um, so I know it's very hard to get out there. Um, what I'm going to be doing here, and I'm not going to talk too much, I just want to show you. I'm going to be doing a stiletto shoe, and I actually went ahead. It's been a couple of years that I bought this. Um, this is from New York Cakes, um, but you can get any other brand, um, even on Amazon. Um, but this is a whole kit. It actually brings the uh, silicone mold, and we're going to be using that. It has all these parts that you can use to create your beautiful shoe. It also brings the sole of the shoe that you're going to cut out. And it brings the front, it brings the open toe and the front toe, closed toe. Um, it, it brings the back heel, but it also brings a side heel. So you have endless possibilities with your shoe. Also, it brings this stand that this is where you're actually going to be placing um, your shoe once you form the sole. And of course, the heel goes in the back. And I'm trying to find that here. So you're going to put that there. We're going to make sure that it's even. We're going to make sure that that's even with the top. Okay? So anyway, let's begin with our fondant and to my fondant I'm actually going to add a little bit of Tylos powder because I want that to stay firm and when you make the heel I would strongly suggest um, it is best to leave it um, to leave it at least one to two days I would go for two days for that heel to get very firm and hard so that when you start building your shoe it doesn't fall apart or crack so let's begin. Let me get my towels and we'll write. All right. So like I said, we're going to use some Tylos powder. And we're going to add it all to this because I'm going to be using most of these. So we want to add a nice amount. Okay, maybe, maybe a teaspoon. And here we go. We're going to start kneading.